Okay, all right guys, so I just wanted to show you what I do with some of my clients. Um, we had a lesson and uh, when we started, he was struggling a little bit because his mobile was moving a lot. His lower body, let's say the legs, will kind of go crazy and sometimes his, he, uh, his swing, while he swings, he wouldn't be like he wouldn't do it like naturally so um i don't think it was not that he wasn't doing it naturally i just think that he didn't know very well how you know how you're supposed to swing how the arms will go on the forehand on the backhand the position uh the position of the elbows at the end <clears throat> i wanted to show this because there is probably some stuff like this that some of you might have might want to pay attention to or might be struggling sometimes a little bit, you know, so you can relate and use it, you know, it, it, it might help, all right? So um, I have the video, I make the video on a, on a phone with an app that I have on my phone and I do it for the, for some of my students and I say, okay, uh, this is what you do. It shows them swinging and slow motion and I like to put notes compared with uh, the, the pros, you know, and the things that they can do and I can put picture side to side and stuff so let's 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 go through it so this is a <clears throat> this is a this is a video here this is just hitting uh, him hitting a few forehands a few backhands at regular speed okay oops sorry i'm gonna go back okay here we go all right so that's that's regular speed Okay, the video is a little longer, but I like to cut it because then I make it slow motion. And, and if you go for too long, even if it's just like a 15 second video, when you move, when you make it slow motion, it, it gets really big. So the idea is I, I try to keep it between three and five minutes long at the most. So, okay, so we did the, 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 the regular speed and this is the slow motion. <clears throat> just to start, one of the things Unfortunately, I don't know if my cursor, you can see it. I haven't been able to make it work uh, on the on the computer, so you can see it. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guide you through <clears throat> through the video or the pictures. If you notice, uh, he's bringing the racket back here. And one thing, one thing that I emphasize on him, I say, when you bring the racket back, you want to make sure that your arms are relaxed. You don't want you don't want to have those like super extended and tight. You know, no. You wanna you you wanna be relaxed. And I'm gonna show you a picture of a pro where you're gonna notice the 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 difference. So he's bringing bring a racket back. Mm -hmm. If you notice here, one thing he does is that he he kind of drops. He 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 lets he lets the racket drop too fast. Instead of doing the natural, the natural swing, kind of delaying, holding, holding, and then and then swinging, <clears throat> and he was dropping the head of the racket too fast. So that makes that what that does is that your swing instead of being one natural swing, you do one and then two. So you do it in two different times, and that completely messes up your timing. So you want to wait, you wait, and then you go in one non-stop. <clears throat> fluid swing so he was a struggling um, and that's one thing that uh, we, we, were, we were working on we've been working on he brings the racket back and then he drops a little too early makes it double timing there okay so let's see see he's gonna he's gonna drop the head of the racket it drops Okay, he did it better on this one. Let's go back to let's go back to the previous one. Here we go. I think it's the same. Yeah. Give me a second. Yeah, here it is. Okay. He drops it there. Mm-hmm. He drops again. Uh-huh. So that's the second time. So that's 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 one thing. You drop the racket. Then when you when you when you uh, when you're swinging, if you notice, there is no angle between his arm and the racket. 
it's pretty much it's it's almost it's almost a straight angle. He's that means he's not lagging at all. He never gets to lag and point with the butt cap towards the ball. So when you do that, the only thing that you're doing is you just you 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 you're pretty much just lapping. You you're not lagging that racket that is gonna is gonna give you that um, that flip that snap, which is what I call the whiplash. That's actually what creates the power of the spin, you know. And 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 you when you swing with the arms extended like like you can see he's doing there. One thing that happens is that if you like the racket a little bit, like you can see in the picture, you're gonna put a you can put a lot of top spin on the ball or not a lot but you can put some some top spin on the ball, but your your shot's gonna be really weak because you're not really hitting you're not hitting through the ball at all. You you you're just going top to from top to bottom right away. And the and, and 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 the racket is is completely crossed. You're not hitting through the ball there, so the shot comes pretty weak. Mm -hmm. So you need to work to you need to you, that's that that means that you need to work on leading, on leading with the butt cap. You need to work on keeping the angle of your racket and the arm. And I'll show you and I'll show you in the pictures. So he comes again. This one, he drops the racket a little better, Rium. Yes, that is much better. That you, you don't see the racket dropping and then going. That's a little more fluid motion um, hitting the ball. That's that's the way you want to do it. Here we go. Okay, that was a little better too, but the moment he made contact, I want you to pay attention. Yeah, let's go. If you notice there, look at the right arm and the elbow is bent. That is that um, the right arm, the elbow can be bent. You can be bent, but when you're looking too much with the arms like that, um, let's say in this, let's say you're looking more with the arms like this instead of looking a little a little a little more 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 straight um, what happens there is that um, you know you know you you are at a you are at a bad angle to create spin on that ball you pretty much is gonna slap the when you're swinging the left arm if you're a righty your left arm is going to be a little more extended than the right arm. The right arm can be a little bent, but you want to make and and sometimes uh, some some players they have a pretty good elbow bend on on the on the left arm too. But you want to make sure that how much you're bending your left arm is going to, is not going to be too much because then that means that you that you're going to meet that ball late. You're not meeting that ball. You're not meeting that ball in front of you, but you're going to meet that ball late. So um, that's 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 one thing you want to pay attention to. Um, let, let's 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 keep going. Okay, so let's go through the notes. That's one more. Okay, that's a little more. That's 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 a better. That's a better. That was a little better. Now I just want to make, I want to pay attention to something here. Okay. Let me see if this is the last one. Okay. Yeah. All right. You see what I'm saying? One thing that you want to pay attention to is first, look at the right leg, and and he's stepping too much sideways. When you step too much sideways, you you you're making it more difficult for your for your for your body to turn to do the own coil. So um, that leg is gonna be on the way. The second thing is that he's hitting the ball too late. If you notice that that ball is. If it's probably right on top of the service line, which means that that ball is way too late. So when you're hitting the ball that late, one, 
what's going to happen is that <clears throat> your left arm that you should be your left arm should be extended because the left arm is going to is going to make is going to bring that racket in front of you but in he when you hit the ball so late the left arm if it's extended it's extended to the side as you can see in the picture the left arm doesn't be really, doesn't seem really bent but look how far to the side he's hitting that ball look how much distance there is between the ball and his hips it's a lot of distance that's really far where you make contact in the backhand with the ball that shouldn't be shouldn't be um much more than probably half around half a foot probably a little more than half a foot but that's it but if you notice he's like way 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 far far further than that so that's one thing now if you look at the at the how much he's bending the right elbow that's telling you he's he's doing that he's doing that because he's hitting the ball really late so that's one thing that you that you want to pay attention attention to now because he's hitting the ball late his his left his left shoulder which is a hitting shoulder is actually below the level of the right shoulder which makes it even worse you know it doesn't hitting the ball late doesn't allow you to really to to really uh, you know let that shoulder go down and up you know it's 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 so far back that all you can do is just pretty much just keep the elbow almost straight or you can or you can even lean back so um that is that is just that is just one of the few things that that happens when you hit the ball late when you don't establish your strike zone in 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 in, in front of you so okay so this is this is the first the, this is the first uh, one of the first things that i like to one of the tips that i was giving him say <clears throat> early preparation looking over your shoulders yeah you, you see that ball coming forehand and backhand you have to be looking over the shoulder mm -hmm. if your chin and your shoulder are not close to each other on both the forehand and the, the, the forehand and the backhand that means you're, you're preparing kind of open 